Hey, welcome to the show. Oh, wait, don't tag me. First off, not Danger Mouse. And frankly, I'm sick of getting confused with him by the very small Venn diagram of people who know what both of us look like. Second, I'm not 100% sure what companies like Facebook are using my image for, so I'm not really into people tagging it, unless it's on the subway. All those folks drawing dicks on my forehead? Yeah, I see you. Keep up the great work. Not right now, jerk. What I do know is that Facebook's been using facial recognition software since at least 2010 on a lot of the photos that we upload. And as that technology evolves, it feels like it's worth talking about its use in surveillance. Whether you know it or not, if you're getting tagging suggestions, it means you never opted out of Facebook's use of facial recognition. And not opting out means they can use your photos to improve their facial recognition software and expand their face print data set. A data set that draws from more than 250 billion user uploaded photos with 350 million more uploaded every day. Hee hee, I own your face now. And you might say, who cares, Wyatt? It's my face, it's not like it's my fingerprint. Oh, but it is. Hee hee. In some ways, it's worse than your fingerprint because while movies have shown me that if you want to disappear, you can easily and painfully slice off your fingerprints, it's not so easy to slice off your face. Yum. When you think about what Facebook's doing, they're taking your photos and building a map that allows them to find you in any image you're a part of that they have access to. Affirmative. Oh yeah, facial recognition tends not to be that accurate for black people. Facebook doesn't talk so much about how the company itself is benefiting from this software. They say it's for our convenience, so they can tell you when a friend posts a picture of you without you knowing, or alert you if someone tries to pass off your photo as their profile pic. And Facebook stress that they use the technology responsibly, but call me skeptical, this is the same company that allowed Cambridge Analytica, a political consulting firm, to access information on 87 million Facebook users without their knowledge. And, and didn't we just find out that Facebook kept hundreds of millions of passwords unencrypted and accessible to thousands of employees? So I kind of find it hard to believe Mark Zuckerberg does anything just to be nice. Sure I do. Uh, today's Tina's birthday. Write something on a wall. Tina died five years ago. Oh! She got hit riding her bicycle by one of those Facebook buses. Ah. Because the bus driver was playing Farmville on Facebook. Can we talk about me owning your face again? More and more, we've handed over important personal data to companies like Facebook in the name of convenience. And what's troubling is that we're getting used to this idea that private companies have a ton of our personal information with very little transparency towards what they're gonna use it for. Even people in Silicon Valley are starting to get concerned about a lack of sufficient oversight when it comes to facial recognition. Microsoft President Brad Smith said, we must ensure the year 2024 doesn't look like a page from the novel 1984. Which page? The one where they talk about how law enforcement is using this kind of technology to surveil people? Is that a page in 1984? I never read it. Would you stop it? That type of stuff is already happening. Amazon's already sold its facial recognition software to law enforcement agencies, which the ACLU is concerned could lead to expanded surveillance, especially of vulnerable communities. And that might have been Amazon's actual pitch this past summer when it tried to sell its facial recognition technology to ICE. Think about it. Undocumented immigrants being afraid to leave their homes for fear of being seen on any camera would mean they would have to order more things from Amazon. Oh, that's some shady business, Jeff Bezos. I'm a bad boy. Come on, you should have seen this one coming. But let's get back to Facebook because they don't just make use of facial recognition technology, they draw on one of the biggest face print data sets in the world. And that's what makes it even more concerning. It seems like there's nothing stopping Facebook from profiting off our faces. They could use the data to sell access to you through targeted ads or share this access with law enforcement. Or Mark Zuckerberg could just hold on to it and use it to teach himself how faces show feelings. What's a feeling? 
It may seem like we're too far down the road, but this is a moment to take control. Facebook users in Illinois have challenged if Facebook is lawfully collecting data through its facial recognition technology. In 2015, a class action lawsuit was filed alleging Facebook violated the state's Biometric Information Privacy Act by taking users' face prints without properly informing its users. Facebook denies the allegations, and it's currently still in the courts. But while we wait, I've got an idea to at least make sure I don't help Facebook grow their face vault. You want to go see my private island? Sure, let's go. Do, 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 do,